Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, Anthony here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about my experience shooting uh, the Titan EX riser. Uh, this is the 25 inch riser, this is their uh, top of the line uh, target uh, riser. I, I also shot uh, the Titan EX limbs as well on this bow, and in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, my experience with it, and uh, I'm going to try to give you an idea on the uh, the characteristics of the the feel of this riser of course I'm going to be explaining this based on my feeling of shooting this riser how the riser felt when I shot it but it, it should at least give you some idea um, if you're interested in picking up this riser I'm also I'm going to talk about other various points that I liked uh, about the riser and I'm also going to be providing a uh, video from when I shot it at uh, the Vegas shoot I was able to test out the riser and the limbs at the Vegas shoot, so I am going to be uh, talking about those clips because I'm going to be showing some of them uh, in this video. I'm going to be using that to support uh, you know what I have to say, and uh, hopefully it gives you guys a better feel uh, for the riser itself. Um, at no point in time was I sponsored or paid for. Uh, this video, this is uh, solely on my own. I'm just happy that they gave me the opportunity to actually try out their riser. So that was uh, a lot of fun. And uh, now let's get into uh, actually shooting it. Hello everybody, Anthony here from Short Shot Archery and uh, I'm gonna be testing out the brand new uh, Titan EX by uh, Fivix. I'm also going to be shooting the Titan EX uh, carbon limbs as well. Uh, this bow that I'm shooting is right around uh, 46 pounds, so it's, it's right at my uh, usual uh, draw weight. And uh, we got some long limbs here and a 25 inch riser, so I'm really excited to uh, give this bow a go. A nice solid shot out. Uh, there's not really a lot of vibration at all. It's it's very uh, forward. You just you shoot and it's just it's it's driving forward quite well. It has a nice uh, consistent drawback, which is really nice. Um, the riser itself is is quite a, it feels really well made, and I really like uh, the feeling of it. You just get that nice solid forward, uh, you know, response from the bow, the nice solid forward feedback from it. I'm gonna go down, pull those arrows, and then we'll uh, try some more shots through it. See what else. Um, I can feel from shooting the bow. I do really like the grip too. Stock grips feeling really good. You could definitely throw some putty on that and make it really custom. Okay, so let me expand on some of those points that I just made when I was shooting it in Vegas. So when I drew back that riser, uh, the whole time you definitely feel like uh, the bow wants to go. It's not a bad feeling, uh, but it's definitely, it's a very, uh, it's a very ambitious bow. It, it wants to shoot. This bow uh, with this set of limbs has a desire to shoot arrows um, and by no means is the bow uh, fighting you but if you want a bow that's going to react really fast uh, when you let go of that string uh, this this is the bow that's going to do that it doesn't sit around it doesn't slack uh, but at the same point in time with that you know pretty sh smooth but yet at the same time a uh, very uh, you know wanting to go draw because you're you're drawing it back but at the same point in time it 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 wants it wants to shoot it's 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 a shooting bow um, when you do uh, finally release and you're making that shot uh, the whole bow is driving itself forward uh, it's driving itself forward uh, really 
uh, well. Um, it's not violent by any means, uh, but it's 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 definitely not going in any other directions. It just wants to go. It wants to bring those limbs back uh, to uh, their original you know set position, and it just wants to send that arrow uh, down range. At the same point in time, though, you're drawing this bow back. It really wants to go so badly, and it feels really solid. Now, um, this is not a bad thing, and it, it's definitely going to be a, probably a little bit of a preference thing. I've, I've noticed that some bows from other brands and such have a more like softer, excuse me, have a more softer draw uh, overall, and the whole the whole shot's pretty soft. And then uh, you know the bow shoots when you release it. For this bow, once you drew it back, um, it wanted to go, but the bow felt like it was designed and and it was structurally sound uh, to the point that you can you could have confidence in it. I've I've drawn bows back in the past where the bow wants to go, but the riser is is telling you mm, I'm not I'm not I'm not too I'm not too sure about this. Uh, the Fivix uh, Titan EX uh, does not tell you this. Uh, the whole time, the riser feels nice and solid, and uh, it's really uh, it's really confidence uh, building because you feel like you have a really solid engineered riser that you're uh, that you have your hand on, and when you make that shot, it's just it's just working uh, with you. It's sending that arrow downrange, and you know it's going to do it. Uh, consistently, and you, you feel you feel a, a level of, of repeatability uh, in it. It doesn't feel wobbly or anything like that. Everything's very solid, and uh, I think it's a really uh, a neat aspect of this bow. Since I have shot a lot of other bows now, and this one really sticks out uh, in that manner. That's another point. Uh, the grip felt great from the get-go. Of course, you always have options to go and get custom grips. But uh, again, for me, uh, from my take, I would just slap some putty right up at the top, usually where my, uh, my thumb here sits, uh, just to like index it better. So my hand, uh, you know, I, I know the placement of my hand on that grip every time. For me, that's all I would do uh, with this grip. Again, though, you could definitely go out and purchase another grip, but from the start, I feel like they're giving you a pretty, a pretty well-made, well-designed uh, grip that's going to fit well for uh, you know the majority of archers. Of course, everybody's going to have their own little personal preferences, but uh, you can definitely feel confident about just leaving it how it is, and it's going to serve you well. Another really nice thing about this bow that I noticed so far, for people that like a lot of uh, attachment points for like additional weight or other dampeners and stuff, uh, they really seem to have you pretty much covered. You got one down here, you got one right behind uh, the stabilizer. Uh, even, uh, even where the uh, locking bolts are, the set screws for the limb bolts, uh, those are all threaded too. Um, you also have two more right up front which is very nice. Of course, that's usually pretty standard among uh, you know, riser manufacturers, but it's nice that they did cover uh, their bases and then some. You pretty much get all the uh, attachment points you could ever want. Another really cool thing is the, uh, the clicker plate up here. It's got a pretty unique uh, design itself with some cutouts, help to maybe bring out the sound from your clicker slapping against it. Some other key things I really like about uh, this riser and, and these limbs are I like the, uh, the nice, solid, non-pivoting uh, limb bolts. I feel like they're always more consistent. You s we've seen uh, companies that used to have pivoting ones actually switch back to the solid ones. So uh, I like that uh, Vivix has uh, the solid ones in place. Now, some other uh, additional points that I really liked about this riser, uh, it had an incredible amount of attachment points. I end up going through most of them in the video, but uh, beyond that too, I want to uh, expand on some other things. I was also really happy about them putting in uh, solid limb bolts. Uh, I think that's a plus. The moving head ones from uh, from another brand or, or so uh, definitely wasn't uh, the most effective idea, especially when you saw uh, top shooters that used it actually replace theirs. So it was great that uh, Fivix was just keeping with something that's tried and true and that we know uh, works really well. 
So I really like that. Another big thing that sometimes a make or break for archers, more than just the feel of the bow and how it performs and in, in, in your own hands and things like that, is the colors available uh, for you to, to purchase when you know buying a riser. And I'm really happy about the colors they offer on uh, the Titan EX. Uh, I would say my favorite is definitely the green. It's been, a, you know, in my opinion, it's been a long time since there was a decent uh, green riser out there, and this one, this one's, this one's awesome. Uh, I was really excited about the color of green they had for that. Uh, some of the other colors are really great too. Uh, again, very happy with the black. The, uh, the red and the blue and the orange and the purple are also very nice as well, and I liked how well uh, the risers were uh, anodized. Uh, they did a great job of that, no nasty holes or whatever. You know, they got the inserts covered well, uh, and overall just a really great paint job. I was really surprised at, uh, you know, the quality and uh, just how well the bow did shoot. Um, of course, it does have uh, particular characteristics uh, to it. It's a bow that wants to shoot. It wants to go, 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 go. And when you release, it's, it's definitely sending that arrow forward. It's a fast bow uh, that feels well made. Uh, you get a lot of confidence because the riser is so strong. Um, the bow feels very solid. And I would say at this point, uh, Fivix is definitely a very viable option for buying a really good uh, target uh, recurve riser. Like the Titan EX was really impressive, and uh, not that my outlook on uh, Fivix or Fivix was was really poor at any point in time, but I I did not know them as a bow manufacturer per se. I've always seen them as, uh, you know, the accessories. Um, I remember using their their finger tabs all the time and I, I knew them or I saw them in that light. I was like, okay, they make really great finger tabs. But after shooting this riser, I can definitely say uh, they are making some awesome progress and they're really uh, developing a very fine and a quality Olympic recurve riser that you can use um, at the highest level. So uh, it's really impressive that, uh, that they're able to do this and it'll be interesting to see down the road you know, how this develops even more. Uh, at this point in time, I would definitely feel uh, comfortable and confident in shooting uh, this bow. And uh, I definitely, I definitely say if, if you're interested in say uh, upgrading from you know, a more beginner bow to something that's going to uh, you know last uh, a long time, then uh, the Titan EX from Fivix is definitely a, a good option for you, uh, at least from my experience so far. I would definitely love to shoot it for longer term here, you know, at Sure Shot Archery and see how things go, uh, you know, tuning it and things like that. Uh, but overall, it should be pretty straightforward and should be really reliable, at least based on. Uh, the time I got to spend with it. Of course the clips you see don't quite give it all the justice. I ended up shooting this bow for a, a good hour or so if not more and I did have a good time uh, with it. Uh, so with that I'm gonna leave you with um, if you need to know more about this riser in the description uh, there will be links or a link to uh, Fivix. You can see uh, you know what they have to say spec wise about their own riser help you make a, a you know a better decision on it if it's something you're looking into purchasing. Um, also there'll be links to uh, the limbs as well because I did shoot them together and I feel like the limbs are uh, pretty well made. There's only so much you can say about it until you really isolate the limbs from the riser, at least in my experience, but together they're fantastic. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. You can follow me at AnthonyArchery720 on Instagram and as always, Happy shooting!